Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be cooking this very delicious meal. It is honey garlic lime salmon with some crispy potatoes and some spinach. Let's get into it. These are the ingredients that we will need for this. You need some salmon portions. I got that from H-E-B. You need some limes, uh, four of them. You need some fresh spinach, some baby potatoes parsley, garlic, and I chose to use fat-free garlic, and all these seasonings, that's everything that you're gonna need. Honey, and some extra virgin olive oil. So now we're gonna wash our potatoes. I had to use both of my hands to scrub them, but the camera did not get that part. But anyway, you're gonna scrub and clean your potatoes and then you're gonna cut them into pieces and submerge them in about four to six cups of water. I went ahead and put lots of salt into my potatoes because that's what needs, it needs to be flavored, okay? So that's why I did that. And I added some chicken bouillon flavoring. Guys, this is essential, please do it. So I let it boil and cook for about 15, 20 minutes and then took it out. Now to get it texture, I went ahead and shook these potatoes to the core because it adds texture to the and it makes it crispier when you put it in the oven. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil and just put that on there. That obviously gives it some flavor and some extra crispiness. Then I added my seasonings and you just add whatever seasonings you really want. It doesn't matter. Uh, I just use everything in my kitchen sink at this point especially my spicy seasonings so you go ahead and do that and yeah some paprika shake that around that so good oh i did not mean to curse ah some garlic <laughs> and yeah you're gonna go ahead and shake that stir it up y'all stir it up make sure it's evenly coated all the way through guys it looks so good look at that Oh my goodness. So anyway, now you're going to add it to your non-stick pan. You don't have to spray it down or anything because, again, you want it to be crispy. And just flatten it out the surface, spread it out so it can be all even at the bottom. And you're going to put this in the oven. Um, guys, check out my oven mitt. Isn't it cute? So put it in the oven on 400, about 15 minutes, 25 minutes, flipping it. So now we have the salmon. You're going to go ahead and just... Pat it dry, and we're gonna start with our limes. You're gonna zest them first, and then cut them in half, and we're gonna start on our, um, our marinade. So you're gonna get the olive oil, you're gonna get some honey, and drizzle as much honey as you feel like it. I drizzled that thing like it was nothing. Again, add whatever spices you want. I always go for the Cajun you know, flavor, because Cajun is just the best way to eat salmon. I mean, that's just how I feel, I don't care what anyone says but I put all of that into there and then I put the lime zest in there and some lime juice I do one whole lime you could do more lime if you want uh, my husband prefers one he doesn't really like limes so add some minced garlic of course stir that thing up and then you are gonna go ahead and pour that thing oh sorry you're gonna season your salmon <laughs> I'm just talking as I go guys so flip that thing over and season everything on the sides, the front, the top. Season it. Season your food because you want to taste everything. Again, I went the Cajun route. So you're going to go ahead and lay down your salmon on a cast iron or any frying pan. And you're going to let that cook down for about five minutes. And then you're going to put the marinade on top of it. I don't flip my salmon, okay? Because sometimes I have kitchen fails. So I don't do that. I just coat the sauce in it and I put it in the oven and let it get thick in the oven. I let it cook for about 10, maybe less than 10 minutes, of course, like eight. I got some spinach going too. I really hate how spinach works. Look at all of this stuff. Look at all the spinach. And guess what? It shrinks the freak down. And it ends up being nothing. I couldn't even share it with my husband, y'all. Like he was so mad. Because I ate up all that spinach. I ate all of it up. So yeah, I added some garlic and some seasoning. Again, add whatever you really want to your food. You know how food works. Let your ancestors guide you. Sprinkle that parsley on there. Yes. That's the finishing touch, y'all. Parsley is just my finishing touch. Don't judge me. It is what it is. But look at how crispy that thing came out. Look at how succulent. 
Let me tell y'all, this stuff was so good. This is perfect for a quick dinner. It took me about 30 minutes, y'all, to do this. It, it really did. I mean, if you work at the same time with it, then you'll be fine. Drizzle it. Drizzle that thing. Look at it, guys. Flaky. Cooked perfectly. They're just so good. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and TikTok, y'all. I post my videos on there, too. You'll get more updates on there. And, yeah, I'm going to just keep posting more recipes. Thank y'all for tuning in. Bye.